What's going on guys, it's Jerome Mon and we are back with another top five video of the best kicks worn all across the NBA this past week. And let me tell you guys something, we got a lot of heat this week. I'm really excited about it. So let's get right to it. But remember, we are only counting exclusive PEs, custom colorways and Nike IDs, but we also shout out a retro of the week right before the number one spot. So now that you got it, let's go get it. Starting off the list at number five, we got Carl Anthony Towns with another PE of the Nike Hyperdunk 2017. Now, not too long ago, we saw Carl Anthony Towns get his very own colorway of the Hyperdunk 2017s, but this time around, it looks like things are going back to black. Now, while you do have the same graphic design on the upper from the last PE, this time around, the color scheme is totally different, with things mainly dressed in black, but you do have a white Nike swoosh that pops right off of that upper. But what really makes these stand out are the green laces and tongue, and gives this PE some much needed color. Now, one thing that I did notice about this photo is that there seems to be something on Cat's toe. What is that? At first, I thought it was a bee, but I zoomed in and enhanced and enhanced, and I really can't tell what this is. Is that like a piece of granola? Is that a booger? Man, that would be gross. Next up, at number four, we got Ben Simmons with this custom colorway of the Nike Hyperdunk 2017. Now, it's one thing to give a sneaker a custom colorway, but it's another thing totally to customize the materials on that sneaker, and that's exactly what this colorway of the Hyperdunk 2017 that Ben Simmons rocked on the court has to offer. Not only do you have a custom red, white, and blue colorway that features a two-tone swoosh separated by a red stripe, but you also have his number and the 76ers logo on the back of the heel. But let's be honest here, the main attraction is the snake skin, or maybe that's alligator skin, who cares? reptile skin material that this custom utilizes that takes the 2017 Hyperdunk to a whole nother level, which Ben Simmons is currently playing at, but so is Donovan Mitchell. So I want you guys to let me know who's the rookie of the year. Next up at number three, we got LBJ with this colorway of the Nike LeBron 15s. Now every year, the swoosh and LeBron comes out with an annual Dunkman colorway that utilizes some sort of neon green and gray color scheme. So I think that's what these are right here, but I'm having a hard time locating the iconic Dunkman logo that's in every Dunkman colorway. But I still think that these are the Dunkman 15s. I mean, just look at them. You got that nice shade of gray on the upper with the neon volt hits on the eyelets as well as the branding. But my favorite part about this colorway is the matte black finish on the heel cup as well as the midsole because it really allows that volt airbag to shine in my opinion but i still can't find the dunk man logo so if you could see it play where's waldo and let me know where it is in the comment section below coming in at number two we got pj tucker with this oregon pe of the air jordan 14s now i know i cheated here a little bit because i said in the beginning of the video and in every episode that we only count exclusive pe's custom colorways and nike ids but i could not leave pj tucker off this list and plus, I have another sneaker for the Retro of the Week. So here is PJ Tucker sitting at number two with this crazy PE that I've honestly never seen before. Not only is this colorway beautiful in its own right with its cool gray upper white midsole and black outsole, but if you take a close look at the upper, you'll notice that the Oregon logo is embossed on the materials, and that just takes these to a whole other level. And again, like I said before, I have never seen these before, so I was floored when I saw them. I said, yo, where did you get those? And it seems like PJ Tucker gets that question a lot because he is the undisputed king when it comes to retro kicks on the court. Speaking of retro kicks, this week's retro of the week goes to Swaggy P for rocking the Adidas Kobe 1. Now this is one of those sneakers that's either a hate it or love it type thing with most people hating it, but I'm one of the people who loves it because I had this sneaker when I was a kid and I absolutely adored them despite them being a hot box and not well ventilated. I thought the cushioning was solid and the durability was just off the charts. I mean, I played basketball in these indoor and outdoor. I went skateboarding in them. I went to the playground with them. And no matter what I did, this sneaker held up extremely well. So it will always have a special place in my heart. And now it's got a place in the Retro of the Week. Finally, coming in at number one, we got DeMar DeRozan with the Nike Kobe AD NXT 360s. Come on guys, you knew this was gonna be the number one spot. I'm a huge Kobe fan. The Kobe one was just a retro of the week and I gotta shout out DeMar DeRozan and the swoosh for unveiling the Kobe AD NXT 360. I still think that name is too long, but just look at these guys. They are an absolute beaut to look at on the court. And one thing I forgot to mention in my full breakdown video of these is the green portion of the outsole is designed to look like a snake 
and that's the design cues that I'm looking for in a Kobe model. It just takes things to a whole other level. It adds an extra layer, and I cannot absolutely wait for these to drop on April 13th for a whopping price. Get ready, $200. Woo! So there you guys have it. Those were the top five kits worn all across the NBA this past week. Let me know which of these five is your favorite in the comment section below. Be sure to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe to this channel for more great content just like this. My name is Darren. It's been great having you. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Or even an average floor, you're going to find yourself wiping a lot in this area. But as long as you keep wiping, the traction will hold you down extremely well. Another thing holding these back is the heel portion of the outsole. Now it features a pressure map like pattern, which is absolutely